Now where's an image I can use? There's, there's the one I like to use at the moment. Just drag that over. Place it right there. And we don't want to move the whole thing. We just want to select the image and move it down so it's... You can adjust the size and carry on like, like that if you like, but that's all I want at the moment. So that image there, now let's have a look in the Layers panel, and there it is there. So let's just call that, give it a name, B-A-S-E, Base Image. Couldn't be simpler. Now, what I always like to do is duplicate that. Don't want to have to go looking for it again. Uh, select that one there, just lock it so you can't accidentally change it, and then unselect it. So it's there in the background if you want it. If you really make a hash of this or you want to try something else, there it is in the background. No problems at all. Okay, now how do we change this into a sketch? Well, there's a bit of a trick here. Let's select this one. Just click over there somewhere. Now we've got to put a background layer behind that. So select the rectangle tool. Over we go. Oh, this magic mouse moves everything around horribly. Just drag that out. Snapping into place. There's our layer there. Now that's not really a colour I want. So let's go just straight up to the colour panel here. There's a decent colour. And there it is. So we've got that there. Now I want, to, I want that colour to be the base colour. Let's just name that. B-A-S-E-C-O-L-O-U-R or C-O-L-O-R for anybody in the US. There's our base image. Now, how are we going to turn that into a sketch? Just too easy. Go to Normal and select, oh, and you can see all the differences. So now that we're back to this, we've got our base colour, which is that one. Let me re reiterate this. There's our base colour. That's 42, 87, 81, which is the base colour I'm using. That's okay. This colour here behind it, which we won't need yet, is 207, 84, 48 in the HSL thing. Well, let's get that back there so we don't lose track of that. That's our base colour. <clears throat> now, I'll re-enable our base image, which you saw me create before. And there's our base image there, nicely in place and in shape. And you think, well, it doesn't look much like a sketch, but it will. Just let me put that down there so we've got a nice little board around that. Okay, back up there. Let's not mess about with this too much. Now, one of the secrets here to get it to look like a sketch is we go up to Filters, and we go to Detect, and we go to Detect Edges. And there you go. Now, nice little sketch. Let's play with that a little bit, shall we? We can reduce the opacity of that. You can take that right down to a nice soft sketch, very fine pencil sketch, or you can bring it up nice and hard. Now you've got a base image, a base colour. You've applied difference to that. Then you've gone to Filters and applied, where did it go? Detect, detect edges. Now you can, you can experiment with those if you like, but I'm just going for the detect edges there. The next step, if you want to add a little bit of interest to this, is to take the base image over here and simply duplicate it. And it adds that little blue outline to some of the areas and a slight orangey glow there. That's really interesting. And you can turn that off again, of course, if you like. 
leave it on, turn that one off, and there's a completely or almost completely different image. It's very it's very useful to experiment with those. Now, if you want a, a really much more dramatic effect than that, you're going for special effects. So let's just duplicate that again, and we're there we are there. Exact duplicate, difference and difference. So let's turn that one off and change that one to something completely different. This one here, let's change that to multiply, which is up that list somewhere. There it is right near the top. Much more dramatic, a real nighttime dramatic shot. Now, to really see something fantastic happen, just take the one above it, and you've got a real nighttime shot there. So you can see how easy it is to experiment with those images and what we've got here in our different layers. It's not terribly difficult at all, and you can do it to you can apply it to any image. Now I think that's quite nice. Now there we go, really. That's all there is to it. Um, three or four simple steps, a couple of applications. and filters, detect, detect edges, when you've got it selected, of course. There we go, all there is to it. Hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching.